I love Pesach. It's a lot of work, a lot of preparation, but it's so worth it. I'm very blessed that I have my, almost my entire family here for Pesach, for this year's Seder. So, this Friday night at the Seder, we are going to read about the story of the five rabbis who were studying in B'nai Brak. And then we were recounting the story of going out of Egypt the entire night until their students interrupted them and reminding them that it's now time, rabbis, to recite the morning Shema. A lot has been written about who these rabbis were and where they were. I want to focus on the students for a minute and their role in the story. I'd like to explain with the following. This week, as I was finishing up my preparations with my students for Pesach, and talking about how we clean, and what is chametz, and how do we have a proper seder, and all that went into it. On the last day I realized, I hope they don't miss the big picture. What do I want them to have out of seder? And so I put on the board the following. I said, guys, I think there's really two main ideas I'd like you to hopefully gain out of your seder this year, whatever type of seder you're going to have. Number one, to remember that the story of the Jewish people continues with you. And number two, to have greater faith, to have greater faith in God, greater faith in yourself, and greater faith in your destiny as a Jewish person and part of the Jewish people. That story of B'nai Brak, with those rabbis who were staying up all night recounting the story their students come to remind them. Did the rabbis really need a reminder? Were they so engrossed? Were they not aware of the fact that they also, they've been saying Shema their whole life, that there would be a time for them to say Shema? I suggest the following. The students play a crucial role to teach all of us as we read the Haggadah and the story, that the rabbis did their job by imparting the ideal, ideals and values of being Jewish and that one of the most important ideals and foundational pillars of Judaism is that we recite the Shema. We declare our loyalty to our Creator. This story continues with the students. This story continues with the destiny of those students until today. And I believe that's part of a really important component of that story. So, tonight we do, we search for the chametz, we try to burn the chametz, and then tomorrow night we'll sit down hopefully with family and friends, and let's try to remember what is our goal? What do you want to accomplish at your Seder? What do you want your children and grandchildren and friends to walk away with? I'm sure they're gonna have a delicious meal. I'm sure they can enjoy your company. But Seder's a time where we strengthen our faith in the one above, faith in ourselves, faith in our community, and to remember that the story continues with us. The first blessing that we make in the morning when we give thanks to Hashem and we say, God, thank you for the understanding to know the difference between day and night. There's nothing starker of contrast than light and darkness between good and evil. We as the Jewish people use Seder night to remind us of the difference. The students come and remind the rabbis, night is over, daytime has arrived, it's time to say Shema. The students get the message. Let's hope that your guests and your family members will receive your message this coming Pesach. Chakash v'sameach to one and all.